So I'll be traveling to Nepal in just a few weeks and I'll be stopping by in Dubai and I was looking for the most efficient and quickest way to carry my camera. And I have camera backpacks such as this one which have a side pocket right here which gives you quick and easy access to your camera when you're traveling or when you're walking around and you're looking for a shot. So what's the problem? But the problem with this is that it is not as fast and as efficient as something else. Actually, let me take this off. So sometimes you want to access your camera really fast or just have it on standby as you're walking around, exploring a new place and trying to find a good shot. And for my upcoming trip to Nepal, I'll actually be trekking for about four days and I will not be bringing one of these camera backpacks with me because I'm trekking, I have to bring an actual trekking backpack, actually this one right here. This is a big trekking backpack that it's not going to make it easy for me to access a camera. I know I'm a little bit picky, but with one of these guys, it's gonna be harder for me to access my camera. Either I hold it in my hand for the entire duration that I wanna hold it, or put it in my backpack and then if I see a quick shot, I have to put down my backpack and take out my camera and try to dig through it and find it here. And it's just a little bit of a hassle. So my solution. So let me take the, off this backpack as well. So that solution is inside this little pouch. It is this tiny thing. It's called the Capture Clip by Peak Design. I purchased it out of my own money. So this video is not sponsored by them at all. This is the version three and I'm actually quite happy with this. So the way this works is that you clip this part let me take off this, is that you clip this thing into the strap of your backpack right there. Then you get this Arca Swiss plate that you attach to your camera. And you have an Arca Swiss tripod, then you can just use the same plate. So you get a seamless switch between this clip right here, between this and your tripod. And there is a plate that they have that is compatible with the Manfrotto RC2 plate, if that's something that you use. There is this quick release button right there and you're able to lock it so that you don't accidentally release your camera and drop your expensive camera. This is able to withstand 200 pounds. Well, that is heavy. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty insane. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to test this for you in this video because it's 200 pounds. The most I'll ever carry is probably 10 or 15 pounds. So this thing is very nicely built. It's all metal and it's waterproof. And the way this works is that you're able to slide the plate in in any of the four directions. So no matter where your camera's facing, you're able to just quickly attach it. So actually let me attach a camera to this so you'll see what I mean. So the way you do it is you want this to face down this way and you can loosen one of the screws and this will come up this way. And depending on the thickness of your camera strap, you can loosen this other screw and attach it to your backpack strap this way. Once you have it in place, you just screw it back and tighten it. And once it's here, it has its nut fit and it's pretty much just set and forget. Just keep it there throughout the entire duration of, of your trip or whatever you want that to be. So once it's here, all you need to do, attach your camera, slide it through the plate, lock it and that's it you just walk around with your camera you see a shot you unlock it press the quick release boom you can go get your shot you can also attach this in four directions so you're able to go this way if you wanted to point it up or sideways which makes it really really convenient comes in this little pouch and it includes a hex key and a few extra screws. It does come at about 99 Canadian dollars. In US is probably a little bit less, but it is a quality product. And you also get a lifetime warranty, which is pretty neat. The only, let me take off this backpack again. So as I do this, the only drawback for me personally is that I mostly use the Manfrotto plates, the long plates. I don't have a tripod with an Arca Swiss type sort of plate. So that is, put this back back there, a little bit of an annoyance that I will have to navigate. 
for traveling, this is probably the best solution out there if you want quick access to your camera. So I'm super excited for this trip. I'll be also filming a short documentary in the jungle in Nepal. So if you wanna follow along on that journey, make sure you join me on Instagram as I'll be posting daily stories about that process. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, you found it useful, and I'll see you next time.